Nash is dead. You're on your own. Hello there again, my friends. This is the boy and his dog, and welcome to the channel where I play and review every game released on the Evercade, old and new. In today's video, we continue our first purchase at the awesome Team 17 Collection 1. We've seen the first two Alien Breeds and Project X. We've still got the awesome Tower Assault to go, and some other games too. So we better get stuck in. Right, next up is Quack. It's no Super Frog, but it's a good game, nonetheless. Right, welcome, let's try an easy one. We do like to start with an easy one. Now, as I recall, you just gotta get the keys to finish the level, the fruit's just a bonus. It's quite nice and chilled. We do like a stoner game on this channel. There you go, see the exit's open and that gave us a bit of armour. <laughs> eh. Welcome happy ghost. Oh, it's always good to welcome one. Especially if it's happy. We don't want an angry one, do we? Oh, crikey. Oh, he weren't that bad, was he? I do like these um, single screen platformers. That's all the keys. Might as well pick everything up. Oh look, oh that must be the happy ghost. Oh mate. Eh. This is quite a simple pimple at the moment, isn't it? Oh, funky music alert. I assume we can ride those. Oh bugger. <laughs> funky tune. Right, am I going to have to go up the sides, in I? Right. I'm all naked again. Let's get that. How do I get in the side there, then? There must be a way. Hmm. Alright, let's go up this side. I don't know. Over the top, no? Oh. Darn it. Scene four. Interesting they're called scenes and not stages or levels. Oh, I turned into a chicken. Fried chicken. There's a duck though, isn't it? <laughs> it looked like a chicken. Right. How'd you get there then? The gold keys don't open them. What opens them? There's obviously more secrets in this than I'm realising. Nice. Ooh. Oh wow! Got helicopter at. Go gadget copter! <laughs> Spoke to gadget copter and that was bloody awesome, wasn't it? <laughs> oh. I used to be able to do claw um Good impersonation. Right, let's move on to the next game. Right, next up is the one I'm most excited to play. It's Tower Assault. Music's much more subdued uh, in this title, isn't it? Right. So we want Joypad. That's it. Retreat mode on. That's so you can like walk backwards and shoot. It's awesome. At the time I thought it was so filmy. Right, let's start a song. Right, IPC. Crash landing site is you scramble from the remains of the predator drop ship. You find yourself at the southern border of the colony grounds. Perform a brief recce and proceed into the colony complex by one of the available entrances. Nash is dead. You're on your own. Poor Nash. Look at that crash ship, how cool does that look? Now you're missing the CGI opening from the CD32 version, it is amazing. Officer Nash didn't make it, it looks like you're out there all, all on your own. Unfortunately none of his equipment survived the impact either, well that's no bloody good is it? Well a trick up here is you can walk into these mines, 
because it's health straight after, okay? And the same with Dan. Oh, <laughs> there's a scan. Excuse me. So yeah, walk through that and then you can pick them up and get your health. Sorted. Right now there's three routes out of this stage, I think. We're going to take the middle route to the civilian facility. Because that's the easier one. Because what is amazing about this game is it's all different routes. Uh, it seems a complex split up of six minor towers and one large sector tower. Access to the nearest tower is due north and paths through the minefields lie due east and west. There you go. So we're going to go north. If you look on the top of the map there. Um, this is the easiest route, really. Uh, it's feeling complex lies directly north, and this seems like a good place to start your search for the colony. Hopefully there will be survivors of the information about recent events. Or information, even. Because, yeah, some of the other areas are so tough. This is a tough game. But it's bloody amazing. Right, Zone 1. As you enter the first floor of the civilian complex, your senses tell you that something terrible has happened here. Surely somebody must have survived the attack. Find out what you can. Ooh. How awesome is that? Look at the bodies! Sorry. The scenes of mutilation and death are almost too much, but you must search on and discover the source of this abomination and repel it. Okay. Oh, look, you can even see me in. Just look at the DL compared. Um, to the previous two alien breeds. You go to see that. Awesome. Backwards firing. But Shakshu. Right, cool for Mega Eries. You don't need key cards for most doors. There you go, so we need that orange one to open that door, but we need like a green, I think it looks like. But yeah, but minor doors, you don't need keys for now. One. Nice. Right, also on this level somewhere is a secret. I think it's called the Portaloo. Right, exit corridor. This is one of the connecting corridors that exit the tower. We don't want to use this because this will go to a harder area. So we're going to try and aim for the lift to go up to the next floor. Because, yeah, you can do that. You go off side corridors, you can go up lifts. There you go, deck lift. Leads to the second floor of the civilian complex. Requires the deck lift pass before it operate, which I believe <coughs> is what's locked down there. So there's the green one. There we go. And then we can go back and get the orange one. And then come back here and get the lift. I mean, we can search it more, um, but we won't. I'm fibbing, the portaloo hidden room isn't on this level, it's on the next level. Uh, so we go up here and get this one, and we can get them credits there. Lovely jovely, and then we can go back to the lift. Because when you go through the connecting corridors either side to get to new towers, um, they're a countdown and they explode. We don't want to be doing any of that shenanigans yet. So we're just going to go for the next floor. I'm going to try and get through a few floors um, in this first look. Right, here we go. This sector is home to the hospital wing and general domestic areas. A bridge to the eastern tower is available. Continue your search. So I think this is the only way out. It is, of course, a bridge this time. But yeah, this is the one with the hidden area. I think I remember where it is. It's in one of the toilets, and then it warps. And you get shitloads of credits. It's awesome. Look at all the little details, like the desks and the computers on. Brilliant. Right. Right, let's go into the... Uh, oh, I think we'll go through the toilets first. Hello, stranger! Right, we'll get some elf in there. And we just have a look what is over around here. Okay, we're going to have to probably come back through in a bit. I think we go in that big room next. See, there's a lot of baddies. They're not, like, too much in your face, like in number two. Like, that's the thing with number uh, Alien B2. It looks gorgeous, but it's just so hard. It's just so hard. I think this one gets it about right because it, it it gets harder depending on which way you choose really. Darn it. Ah, oh, we'll go out the wrong way, wouldn't we? Right. 
point. Oh, he disappeared. <laughs> I'm not complaining. Area scan. Right, I think the secret area is up on the far left there, where that grey square is. I think. Because <laughs> you, you zoom to that um, bottom area you saw on the map there. All you can see is ribs. Nasty. Oh, the corridor that leads to the bridge between this tower and the next is locked and can only be opened with a special pass. It's believed that the head physician holds the required pass. It can only be found in the hospital head office. Which I'm assuming is down here. Blue key card. This is the colony's hospital wing after the attack. It looks... Okay. So we need to um, find the pass. Oh, Jordan, this ain't good. Well, what does the F do? Oh, do they like freeze? Apart from ones that already come out. Is that just coincidence? Oh my god, there's loads of feed in there, innit? Banquet scene. If it was a zombie game. Right. Oh. Oh god, there's not much left of him. I said, just walk into him. <laughs> it's good to give me loads of health around here. It's a shame we can't pick up the health packs and hold on to them till later. Right. So I'm guessing it's going to be up on the right here somewhere, the blue key card. That's what we're looking for, isn't it? Okay. So we're going to have to go back through the toilets, I think. Right up here, maybe. Hmm. Oh, yeah, it's probably up here, isn't it? Oh, there you go. There's the blue pass. We'll grab that. And I believe this is the teleport room. There you go. Look at all this money. Okay, see? Sometimes I remember. Okay, there you go. Team 17 was here. And if you go to the info blog here, I believe it's different from in the rest of the game. We'll have a look. So you found the Team 17 portal. Welcome to the unofficial Team 17 office. There you go. And that has loads of stuff you can look through, which is quite cool. All silly stuff, worth having a look at. Tech network logging off. Right. I could have bought some shit, couldn't I? Never mind. We don't want to be playing this for too many bloody hours, do we? <laughs> right, now we've got the key card, we can move on to the next area. So back through here. Through the office. Up here. There we go. We should, there we go. Blue. See, we can get in there now. See what we can find. Oh. Well, there's nothing here, is there? Oh, is it that dude down there? Oh, there you go. Sadly, Dr. Cook had managed to avoid the advances of the breed. Fortunately, he had the required blood splatter security pass in one of his pockets. You take the pass and wipe the mess on his blood stained jacket. He has served his purpose. There is no time for remorse. Well, obviously not. Here we go. Oh, we get one of our first go at a corridor. So after a while, the time will start counting down. You've got to get out before it blows up. Having just left the civilian block, you head for the store sector. As of all corridors, the automatic destruct sequence has been initiated and the corridor will self-destruct shortly. Better hurry. So, yeah, you can choose which route. And you just basically... I'm just going to leg it. You can probably pick up loads of shit, but I don't know how long we got. So I'm just going to leg it. Oh, shit, we're going to lose all our lives now. I mean, you don't have to be as 
mint as this. Ooh, I don't know. I don't know what we had left then. Right, so I think we've reached the stores. With the aliens still attacking through the lower floors, flee to the upper decks by using the deck lift, or exit via corridor far corridors into the inner sanctum of the military facility, but expect a hot reception. Ah, oh, awesome! Yeah. So we get torches round here, obviously. Don't think there's a light you can like, turn on, I think the whole stage is like this, as I remember. Because we didn't have um, save states, obviously, when this came out. This game is so hard. But now, save states, you can like save it before you choose which exit to go. So you can try it all the different ways out. If you bugger up a level not being quick enough, you can redo it around and do the old game again. I mean, it used to have passwords, but... Save states is much better, isn't it? And you can do it mid-level as well. At least you can see the aliens with the um, blue of their eyes, which is pretty cool. I just... Right, these doors remain tightly sealed until all lock units are destroyed. They are scattered throughout this level. Oh, great, we've got to look for some. So what do they look like then? Is it them green things? I'm feeling this level could be the end of me. <laughs> you don't say. Poor Jordan. I can get them. Right, is it not them blue things? No. So what do we think? Oh shit. Oh, one life left. So what do we think these locks look like? Bleh. Right, there's another locked door there. down here. Oh, is that it? These control security doors that must be destroyed in order for the doors to be opened. The doors got the deck lift in other secure zones. There must be a reason for this, maybe. Okay. Oh, I've done it again. <laughs> Oops. So we shoot that. So we've got to look for some more like that. Did it say there were four? Or did I just make that number up? So where the fudge are they? I've got to go all the way back. I don't right then, no. I don't think there's been a computer terminal, so we can't look at a map. Right over here, maybe? Oh no! Oh, it's another connected corridor. Damn it, I don't want to go this way. This corridor links the stores and military towers and military towers are rocking rock hard. Oh shit. I did not want to go this way. <laughs> I wanted to find the locks. Oh, how'd you get them? I don't like that ticking down. Th oh dear. We've got 43 seconds. Oh, there's a clock at the top there. 43 seconds. No lives. That's very small. Um, no. Yeah, I'll work that one out, love. Thank you. Oh, it's all gone wrong. I, th I did quite not. Uh, didn't do too bad, did I? For my first attempt after all this time, not too bad at all. Oh shit! <laughs> we ain't getting out of here, nah. Oh, that was a good run though. Bloody good game. Still awesome. Yay! <laughs> right now the lesser known games bit of arcade pool I think I was a bit shit at this can't remember <laughs> right hopefully this won't be too complicated oh options oh crikey that's a lot um, should we just start a new game uh, see there's lots of Options now. Oh, like the clappage. Right, we're breaking off. Right, I've got the instructions in front of me here. So, to move the power, I've got to go down 
down to it. Right, and then I can click on the ball to do the spin, which I'm not going to bother with. Let's do full power, and then I aim. What about there, that's it, and then. Right, I think I got it. <laughs> hey, we got any in? <sighs> right, he's going to flash me now, isn't he? Here we go. Oh, don't you dare. Phew. Right, come on. Time to redeem. Okay, about there. I used to love the um, pool game or in Yakuza. A couple of the Yakuza games had a decent pool game. Damn it. He's not just going to wipe me out now, is he? He's thinking about it. Oh, what a bitch. <laughs> oh my god, he's going to clear it out, isn't he? Oh my days. Oh, I thought he was going to get two in then. Well, I can't see him missing this one either. Oh god, this is terrible, isn't it? <laughs> and somehow he has. Right. Come, please let me get one in. I want to try and get that in the middle one. Mm. I think so. <laughs> yes! Okay, that was a fluke. <laughs> right, at least we got one in. Right, should we try and get that one? About there. So I remember, uh, is it Jimmy White's, uh, was it Whirlwind Snooker or something like that? That was cool. Right, come on. Come on, you've got to get one of these in. Don't embarrass yourself, Steve. Oh, phew. <laughs> right, come on. If I go right on the side there, will that go in? Mm, that's probably not enough. No. Oh, that was close. Oh my days. Oh, one of mine went in. Surely that's classed as a foul. No. Is that fair? Okay. About there. Well, that was silly. Oh, got one of his in as well. Oh, my days. Oh, it's a foul if I do it. <laughs> right. Is any good? Blooming. The one left. Oh, no. <sighs> I'm done, and I. It was nice knowing you. <laughs> oh, doesn't it sicken you? Go on, go in for me. Ah, oh. oh, that was a laugh though. I need to practice a lot on that, don't I? <laughs> right, next up, body blows. I've not played this in years. Um, I'm assuming it's like the other one, so you have to press fire and a direction to do different moves. I think I'd like armor um, body blows on the CD32. I think. Can't remember. I have one of them. Alright, who are we gonna go for? Shift bit Maria. Maria. Aqua Maria. Right. Maria versus Lowray. Fight. I'm going to embarrass myself now. <laughs> Oh, I did a spinny move. And that is about it. <laughs> oh, awesome. Oh, I did better than I thought I would. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, it's alright, isn't it? 
Oh, oh, it's all gone a bit wrong. Oh dear. Right, and I think we leave that game there. <laughs> Right, next up is ATR All-Terrain Racing, 1995. I've got a couple of options, arcade mode, battle mode, league mode. Let's look at options. It's on easy. <laughs> That's the important bit. Right. Oh, we've got a choice. Canyon, Rough and Rocky, Sports, Alpine. Oh, should do a bit of Alpine. Hmm. Yes. Uh, Buggy's Intermediate, Novice, Expert. Right, we'll go Novice. <laughs> oh, a little shop. What can we get? Can we afford that? Yeah, we can afford that. Uh, we'll get that, shall we? Mm, what else? I don't think I've got enough for anything else, never. Okay. Oh, look at little snowman. Oh god, okay. Oh, oh, okay, it's not too bad to control. He says. <laughs> oh. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna need lots of practice with this game, and I? And skid marks all over again. I do like skid marks. I know a lot of people don't like it, but it's, it's a good game. It's quite cool. It's good they've got all the different types. I don't think I ever had this one when I did Amiga. Might have had a demo. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, it's only second lap. I might just do one more lap. I'm not going to embarrass myself any further. <laughs> it's cool though, isn't it? It controls fine. It's just... I'm shit at it. <laughs> oh my days. So we notice now with this collection that my ability is going to go a bit downhill. <laughs> I'm alright at the shooters. And give me a sports game. Goes a bit downhill. Uh, oh my days. Oh god. Oh, this is painful now at this point, isn't it? <laughs> I should have probably done the other course. First. Still is cool. Love it. And last but not least, it's Kingpin Arcade Sports Bowling. Right. Oh, oh that's very Amiga menu, isn't it? <laughs> and quite players, and I think that's cool. I think we just do quick start series, yeah? Oh, this is complicated for um, bowling, isn't it? Um, one player. Okay. Oh, that's cool. No idea. No idea. <laughs> After practice, the lane is playing slow and hooking slightly to the right. The lane is heavy wax, slightly spin available. Okay. Love the bowling Yakuza as well. I'll bring up Yakuza a lot. <laughs> Love Yakuza. Oh, right, okay. So that does your power. So it's not like a bar, you just put it where you want. Right, we'll go there. Then that's left and right. Oh. There's a wiggly bit. God, that goes faster, doesn't it? Oh, shit. <laughs> oh. This would be a laughing multiplayer. Yeah, yeah. That's cool. Right. So if I do less power... Oh, that goes a bit slower. Or is that just me? Okay, let's try that. Oh, I'm doing something wrong. Can you like put side spin as it's going? Or push in a direction? Yeah, alright. <laughs> right, I'll get a bit more power. Right, let's see if we can do a bit of side spin. Oh, we can! Interesting. Yeah, I'm not going to get them. We'll try. Up there. Oh, I've gone too far off, and I. Oh well, we're getting better. We're learning. Um. Oh, 
Oh, that was awful. Nothing to see here. <laughs> Move along. Uh, yeah. Right. Come on. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at that. Oh. That was close. Put me a cigar. Right. Come on, this is the one. <gasps> I'm getting there, I'm getting there. Right, come on. Let's see if we can get a spare. Come on, is this going to be the one? It's starting to sound like Zaphyrus. Not the one. Oh, we've got 20. Right, come on. <laughs> Ooh, that's too far, isn't it? I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. <laughs> come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Ooh. <sighs> Sigh. Nearly there. I've got 28. Okay. Right, this is it. This is the one. <laughs> Come on. Yes! Thank you very much. Strike. Right, come on now. We're on a roll. No. Oh, come on. Let's get one more strike before the end of the game. End in style. Right. I keep trying to get in the middle, but my timing is different. Oh, my days. Oh! <gasps> Got me all excited then. 52. To be fair, I've done worse in real life. <laughs> oh my days. Yeah, I've done much worse in real life on this game. <laughs> right. Uh, should I try going in at an angle? That's t totally off in it, yeah. Mm. Come on, nearly there, come on. Channeling positive thoughts. Channeling positive thoughts. Oh, that was right in the middle. Go on, go on, go on. <gasps> yes, my son. Look at that. Yay. Right, can we get another strike in just to finish it off? That'd be a bit sexy. Come on. Ooh. Oh, so, so close. That's quite a good game, isn't it? I definitely need to learn the controls better. It's a little bit fiddly. Not as addictive as the one in Yakuza. <laughs> Can I get them? Nah. Oh, that was awesome. How good is Terra Soul? Oh, I love it so. I think it may live in my EXP for some time to come. I'm definitely going to need a lot of practice of pulling bowling and all-terrain racing before I can even think about reviewing them. That's if I can drag myself away from the breeds and the X, of course. <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed this first look. Reviews will start once I've posted the final few reviews for the Toplin collection, which will be over the next few days. Well, I can't be juggling five different collections at once now, can I? And join me tomorrow for our first butchers at the Fur Pico collection. And if you've made it here to the end of the video, thanks ever so much for joining me. Leave a thumbs up or comment if you'd like. Either way, I'm just chuffed you, poked your head in to take a gander. As always, I hope you're having an awesome day, my friends. And until next time, be seen.